Hello everyone, I'm Joshua Clement, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to size pecs for your home plumbing. It's important that you know what size pecs to use for each individual fixture. If you go too big, you'll have way too much water pressure blowing out the end of the faucet. If you don't plumb it just right with the right sizes, you're going to have almost no water pressure coming out of there. Let's get started with the epicenter of your house. That would be the manifold. You want to run your main water line into the manifold. That should be a three-quarter inch PEX pipe going into your manifold. Out of the manifold, they have half-inch PEX coming out. You'll run each one of these to each individual faucet. So you have one line for the toilet, one for the sink, one for the shower. All those are designed to be run in a half-inch PEX. You don't want to go bigger than that because that allows too much water pressure to flow through there and then when you go into your faucet, you're going to have to dive it down to a half inch there, and it just blows out the end of the faucet. Now, when we talk about a half inch pipe, we're not talking about the outside diameter of the pipe. We are talking about the inside diameter of the hole through the middle of the pipe. That should be right around a half inch. The outside diameter of a PEX pipe should be about a quarter inch bigger than the inside diameter of the hole. So for a half inch pipe, we are measuring 5 eighths inches instead of a half inch. The inside diameter of the pipe will be a half inch. Now to summarize, the incoming line or the main line should be 3 quarters of an inch. The supply lines coming out of the manifold should be a half of an inch. This is important to know, that way when you go to the hardware or home improvement store, you know exactly the right size piece to buy. Thank you all for watching and good luck with this project.